Hello, How To Bob here, and I made this video to show you my method for cutting inside corners on a baseboard. So you know every corner in a house is not exactly square, so I'm going to show you with my speed square here. This one's out just a little bit, and if you do the typical 45 degree cut on each side of the baseboard, you can see that you put one side down, you put the other side down, and they typically don't match up. This one's actually not too bad. But if we push it up against the wall, it reveals a little black line that we want to get rid of. So you can see right here there's a black line. We can make it better than that using this method. So I have my miter saw set up, and it's set up to do a straight cut. So I'm going to take one of the pieces of baseboard, really doesn't matter which one, and I'm just going to cut straight through and make a straight cut. Now on the other piece, the mating piece, I'm going to leave the 45 degree angle on there, but I'm going to flip it upside down and put it on the miter saw fence here. Then I'm going to adjust my miter saw to five to anywhere from five to 10 degrees back. And you'll see why here in just a moment. I'm gonna give this a little relief. Now I wanna cut it not all the way through and I want to make sure that I'm lined up, that I don't take any of the primer or paint or go past the edge of the molding. So I'm going to cut it just down to where it starts to curve. So I just take my time and go down to where it starts to curve. And as soon as I hit that point, I stop. And then I can take and break this little piece off of the end. You can see I went to the edge where it does where it starts to turn. So I can take my piece off and there's a little piece left over. I can go ahead and take that off as well. So now you can see I've got a little back or relief there. Now I want to cut this angle here so I'm going to take a pencil. You don't have to do this but I'm going to do it just so that it'll be easier to see. Take a pencil and this is where I'm going to cut the edge and I'm going to be using a coping saw here and it works really easy and what I want to do is just start on the edge here I'm going to put a little relief cut in here it just makes it easier to cut it in several pieces and I'll start with my saw at an angle and I'll work it around so that I back cut it like this so now I have some kind of a relief angle of back cut and I don't want to go past the pencil line that I drew. That's going to be my final point to stop at is the pencil line. Now I'm going to start from the other side and work my way around the contour of the molding. And it comes off in little pieces like that. So now I'm going to start on the tip and just start working my way around. Just work your way around real slow and you'll get some good results. And always remember to have a little back cut on there. It just makes it a lot easier when you go to match up your baseboard, especially when it's not at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so now I've got most of it out of there. And you can see there's a little bit left over, so we'll, we'll cut that out if I can. It's kind of tough to get little pieces cut out, but it does happen every once in a while. You'll get a little piece left over. Okay, so that one came out pretty good. Next step I'm going to do is take a file. And I like to use a half round file because at the end it's a little thicker and thinner. So I can adjust the contour of my angle. It makes it a lot easier to file it down to fit perfectly with my baseboard matched up. So I'll do a little bit of filing, make sure I get the part where the miter saw did not get. Okay, I've got a small piece of scrap that I just had laying around. I'm going to use that to check my fit. And as you can see, it looks pretty decent. 
not bad fit here after a little bit of uh, filing. I see a couple little spots that wouldn't hurt to be touched up. So I'm going to go ahead and file the top corner that's kind of holding the molding a little bit lower than I want it to be. So I just hit that edge with the fine part of my file at the end there. And then I'll take my test piece and just set it up against there. And that looks like a pretty good fit. Let you take a look at the contour of it right here and how well it fits together. So that's what it's going to look like on the wall once we get it together. A lot better than before. Now this works great for wood, bare wood if you're going to stain it. Something like this you can also caulk so it's not that critical. So I take my flat end, push it all the way up against the wall, and I take my coped end of baseboard and I put it right up against it and push it tight. And you can see how well it lines up. And that's how you cut an inside corner of a baseboard. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching.